I'm going to discuss two ways to save your work in Pro Real Time. Saving different templates, which are workspaces, and saving changes to the platform. Templates save all things related to a given workspace, such as the size and positions of windows displayed, indicators displayed, and their properties. Personalizations of lists, such as the columns displayed, the sorting criteria, and the size and position of columns. Instruments displayed in charts and amount of historical data loaded. Chart settings and all of the options in the template options section shown here. So list settings, cursor type, fonts, colors and effects, and your main window and toolbar settings. Remember that there is an option in these tabs to check a box to apply these settings to all of your templates. Once you've set up your workspace as you like, you should go to the Templates menu and choose Save or Delete. You can then give a name to your template and press Save. Your template is now saved. So even if you move around your workspace or, for example, load a different template like this one, then you'll be able from the templates menu to go back to your template at any time. There's another way to save your work with Pro Real Time, which is the file save option. File save saves your workstation so that the next time you come back, it will be exactly as you left it. It also saves things that are not specific to a given template. For example, any objects you've drawn on charts all programs and modifications to programs, such as personal indicators, trading systems, or screeners. Modifications to your personal lists, such as instruments that have been added or deleted from these personal lists. Alerts, and all options that are not related to templates. So platform options, including general, pro real trend lines, alerts and sound options, time zone and trading hours options, and trading options. Also note that when you quit the platform, it will ask you if you want to save your changes. This is the equivalent of file save. To learn more, click on one of the links that appears on the screen.